this problem they have given that theta is divided into two parts as alpha and beta. So, we can say that alpha plus beta is nothing but theta, right? And they have given us tan alpha by tan beta equals to x by y. Now, we are applying component and dividend do we get. Converting the tan in terms of sine and cos we get. So, in the numerator we are getting and in the denominator we are getting which is equals to. So, from here we can write equals to sin theta because alpha plus beta can be replaced by theta. So, we are getting sin alpha minus beta equals to x minus y by x plus y sin theta. Prove. Is it clear to all of you? Okay, let us move for the next problem. Here they have said that tan theta equals to. Now we have to prove that tan alpha minus theta equals to the given expression, right? Now, if you observe, we will find that in the proof part in the right hand side, there is no theta. So, we have to replace this theta in terms of alpha. We will definitely going to get the right hand side. So, what I am doing here is, I am just expanding tan alpha minus theta with the help of the formula tan a minus b we get. Now, replacing the value of tan theta by this expression. So, we are getting So, we are getting whole divided by, is it clear to all of you? Okay. Now, so in the numerator we are getting so we are having is it clear to all of you? Which is nothing but your right hand side. Is it clear? Okay, let us move for the next problem. They have given us. So, what we are doing here is we are converting pot in terms of sine and cos we get. Now, applying component and dividend we are getting. So, in the numerator we are getting cos alpha minus beta. In the denominator we are getting cos alpha plus beta which is equals to 4 by 2 that gives us 2. Okay. Have you understood it? Okay. Let us move for the next problem. In this problem, from the first condition we are getting, so actually our motto is to find out x from this equation. Is it clear? This is what we got for x. Now, similarly, you can find out your y will be equals to, is it clear? Now, by dividing the corresponding sides, we are getting, is it okay? Let us move for the next problem. Now, in this problem, we are starting the sum from 
tan phi minus theta equals to now we are replacing the value of tan phi and tan theta from the given conditions after simplification we are getting After opening the brackets, we are getting and in the denominator, we are getting. So, after simplification, we are going to get and in the denominator. So, we are left with 1 by root 3 only. Therefore, we are having tan phi minus theta is 1 by root 3 which is tan 30 degree right therefore we are having phi minus theta is 30 degree is it clear proof here the mod sign indicates the absolute value of the difference between these two angles phi and theta is it clear let us move for the next problem In this problem, in the left hand side, we are having. Now I am converting tan in terms of sine and cos, we are going to get. After taking LCM, we are getting. And in the denominator, we are having. So in the numerator, we are applying the formula sin A cos B minus cos A sin B, which is equals to sin A minus B. So we are getting in the numerator as, and in the denominator, cos A plus B into cos A minus B can be written as cos square A minus sin square B, or else you can write it as cos square B minus sin square A. So to get the desired result, I am writing cos square B minus sin square a so in the numerator we are going to get sin 2b and in the denominator we are getting cos square b minus sin square a right so which is nothing but your right hand side proved have you got it okay move for the next problem In this problem, tan beta is given to us, and we have to prove that tan alpha minus beta is 1 minus n tan alpha, right? Now, if you observe, you will find that in your right hand side of the proof part, there is no beta. So, you have to remove that beta. Is it clear? So, let me start from the left hand side of the given proof part, which is tan alpha minus beta. Now, if we expand it, we are going to get now what we are doing here basically we are replacing tan beta by the given expression so we are getting so now after taking lcm we are going to get whole divided by so we are getting I am taking sin alpha common from the numerator whole divided by in the denominator we are having only cos alpha. So we are left with 1 minus n because sin square alpha plus cos square alpha will give you 1 into tan alpha right that is exactly what is your right hand side have you understood it okay move for the next problem. This is the question which is given in the book, but there is a little printing mistake. It will be not cot gamma. It will be basically cos gamma, right? 
this is the printing mistake which is in SND book. So please correct it. Now, how to do this problem? Here we have been given that cos alpha is 12 by 13. So if I draw a right angle triangle, if this angle is alpha, then this is 12, this is 13. So the perpendicular will be 5. So in that case, your sin alpha is nothing but 5 by 13. Is it clear? Cos beta is 3 by 5. Again, if we draw a right angle triangle, if this angle is beta, this is 3, this is 5. So this will be 4. All we are getting it by applying Pythagoras theorem. Now, we have cos gamma is 63 by 65. Again, if we draw a right angle triangle, this angle is gamma, then this is 63 and this is 65. So, the perpendicular will be 16 only. Is it clear? Now, cos alpha plus beta plus gamma. Take alpha plus beta as your A and gamma as your B. So, we are getting cos alpha plus beta cos gamma minus sin alpha plus beta sin gamma. Is it okay? Now, the value of cos alpha plus beta will be, if we put the values of cos alpha, cos beta, sin alpha and sin beta, we are going to get, so it is 16 by 65. Therefore, sin alpha plus beta will be, so we are having, which is equals to, is it clear? Now we have chosen the plus sign, not the minus one, because alpha and beta are lying between 0 and pi by 2. Therefore, alpha plus beta will lie between 0 and pi, where your sign will be positive, right? Therefore, we have chosen the positive sign, rejecting the minus sign. Therefore, the value of cos alpha plus beta plus gamma will be equals to 0. Is it clear to all of you? Have you understood it? Okay, move for the next problem. Here we have been given that alpha is not equals to beta and we have been given that a tan alpha so, I am taking everything containing A in the left hand side and everything containing B in the right hand side we get. So, we are having. So, after simplifying we are going to get whole divided by. Applying the formula of sine A minus B in the numerator and denominator we are getting. We are having cos alpha by cos beta, which is nothing but your right hand side. Have you understood it? So proved. Okay, move for the next problem. In this problem, we have been given that tan theta, which I am writing it as sin theta by cos theta, equals to, so cross multiplying, we get Now, I am taking everything in the left hand side, we are going to get So, we are having is it clear? Have you understood it? Okay. 